Edition, Wikipedia article audio. Addition is one of the four basic operations of arithmetic, the others are subtraction, multiplication, and division. The addition of two whole numbers is the total amount of those quantities combined. For example, in the adjacent picture, there is a combination of three apples and two apples together, making a total of five apples. This observation is equivalent to the mathematical expression 3 plus 2 equals 5 i.e., 3 add 2 is equal to 5. Besides counting fruits, addition can also represent combining other physical objects. Using systematic generalizations, addition can also be defined on more abstract quantities, such as integers, rational numbers, real numbers, and complex numbers and other abstract objects such as vectors and matrices. Notation and Terminology Interpretations In arithmetic, rules for addition involving fractions and negative numbers have been devised amongst others. In algebra, addition is studied more abstractly. Addition has several important properties. It is commutative, meaning that order does not matter, and it is associative, meaning that when one adds more than two numbers, the order in which addition is performed does not matter. Repeated addition of one is the same as counting, addition of zero does not change a number. Addition also obeys predictable rules concerning related operations such as subtraction and multiplication. Performing addition is one of the simplest numerical tasks. Addition of very small numbers is accessible to toddlers. The most basic task, 1 plus 1, can be performed by infants as young as 5 months and even some members of other animal species. In primary education, students are taught to add numbers in the decimal system, starting with single digits and progressively tackling more difficult problems. Mechanical aids range from the ancient abacus to the modern computer, where research on the most efficient implementations of addition continues to this day. Addition is written using the plus sign plus between the terms, that is, in infix notation. The result is expressed with an equals sign. For example, there are also situations where addition is understood even though no symbol appears. Combining sets The sum of a series of related numbers can be expressed through capital sigma notation, which compactly denotes iteration. For example, the numbers or the objects to be added in general addition are collectively referred to as the terms, the add and s or the sum ands, this terminology carries over to the summation of multiple terms. This is to be distinguished from factors, which are multiplied. Some authors call the first add and the och end. In fact, during the Renaissance, Many authors did not consider the first addend an addend at all. Today, due to the commutative property of addition, agend is rarely used, and both terms are generally called addends. Extending a length All of the above terminology derives from Latin. Addition and add are English words derived from the Latin verb addera which is in turn a compound of add to and dare to give, from the Proto-Indo-European root asterisk diha to give, thus to add is to give to. Using the gerundive suffix nd results in add end, thing to be added. Likewise from augury to increase, one gets och end, thing to be increased. Sum and sum and derive from the Latin noun summa the highest the top and associated verb summer. This is appropriate not only because the sum of two positive numbers is greater than either, but because it was common for the ancient Greeks and Romans to add upward, contrary to the modern practice of adding downward, 
so that a sum was literally higher than the Adens. Adara and Summer date back at least to Boethius, if not to earlier Roman writers such as Vitruvius and Frontinus. Boethius also used several other terms for the addition operation. The later Middle English terms adding and adding were popularized by Chaucer. The plus sign plus it appears in mathematical works dating back to at least 1489. Properties Addition is used to model countless physical processes. Even for the simple case of adding natural numbers, there are many possible interpretations and even more visual representations. Commutativity Possibly the most fundamental interpretation of addition lies in combining sets. Associativity This interpretation is easy to visualize, with little danger of ambiguity. It is also useful in higher mathematics, for the rigorous definition it inspires, see natural numbers below. However, it is not obvious how one should extend this version of addition to include fractional numbers or negative numbers. One possible fix is to consider collections of objects that can be easily divided, such as pies or, still better, segmented rods. Rather than just combining collections of segments, rods can be joined end-to-end, -end, which illustrates another conception of addition, adding not the rods but the lengths of the rods. Identity element A second interpretation of addition comes from extending an initial length by a given length. The sum A and B can be interpreted as a binary operation that combines A and B in an algebraic sense, or it can be interpreted as the addition of B more units to A. Under the latter interpretation, the parts of a sum A and B play asymmetric roles, and the operation A and B is viewed as applying the unary operation and B to A. Instead of calling both A and B addends, it is more appropriate to call A the agend in this case, since A plays a passive role. The unary view is also useful when discussing subtraction, because each unary addition operation has an inverse unary subtraction operation, and vice versa. Addition is commutative, one can change the order of the terms in a sum, and the result is the same. Symbolically, if A and B are any two numbers, then the fact that addition is commutative is known as the commutative law of addition. This phrase suggests that there are other commutative laws, for example, there is a commutative law of multiplication. However, many binary operations are not commutative, such as subtraction and division, so it is misleading to speak of an unqualified commutative law. Addition is associative. When adding three or more numbers, the order of operations does not matter. Successor As an example, should the expression A and B and C be defined to mean and C or A plus? That addition is associative tells us that the choice of definition is irrelevant. For any three numbers A, B, and C, it is true that plus C equals A plus. For example, plus 3 equals 3 plus 3 equals 6 equals 1 plus 5 equals 1 plus. Units When addition is used together with other operations, the order of operations becomes important. In the standard order of operations, addition is a lower priority than exponentiation, nth roots, multiplication, and division but is given equal priority to subtraction. A whole number followed immediately by a fraction indicates the sum of the two, called a mixed number. For example, 3a one half equals 3 plus a one half equals 3.5, this notation can cause confusion since in most other contexts juxtaposition denotes multiplication instead. 
When adding zero to any number, the quantity does not change. Zero is the identity element for addition, also known as the additive identity. In symbols, for any a. This law was first identified in Brahmagupta s Brahmasphuta Siddhanta in 628 AD, although he wrote it as three separate laws, depending on whether a is negative, positive, or zero itself, and he used words rather than algebraic symbols. Later Indian mathematicians refined the concept, around the year 830, Mahavira wrote, zero becomes the same as what is added to it, corresponding to the unary statement zero plus a equals a. In the 12th century, Bhaskara wrote, in the addition of cipher, or subtraction of it, the quantity, positive or negative, remains the same, corresponding to the unary statement a plus zero equals a. When two or more disjoint collections are combined into a single collection, the number of objects in the single collection is the sum of the number of objects in the original collections. Within the context of integers, addition of one also plays a special role, for any integer a, the integer is the least integer greater than a, also known as the successor of a. For instance, 3 is the successor of 2 and 7 is the successor of 6. Because of this succession, the value of a and b can also be seen as the bth successor of a, making addition iterated succession. For examples, 6 plus 2 is 8, because 8 is the successor of 7, which is the successor of 6, making 8 the second successor of 6. Performing addition Innate ability Learning addition as children Addition table To numerically add physical quantities with units, they must be expressed with common units. For example, adding 50 milliliters to 150 milliliters gives 200 milliliters. However, if a measure of 5 feet is extended by 2 inches, the sum is 62 inches, since 60 inches is synonymous with 5 feet. On the other hand, it is usually meaningless to try to add 3 meters and 4 square meters, since those units are incomparable, this sort of consideration is fundamental in dimensional analysis. When an original length is extended by a given amount, the final length is the sum of the original length and the length of the extension. Studies on mathematical development starting around the 1980s have exploited the phenomenon of habituation, infants look longer at situations that are unexpected. A seminal experiment by Karen Wynn in 1992 involving Mickey Mouse dolls manipulated behind a screen demonstrated that five-month-old infants expect 1 plus 1 to be 2, and they are comparatively surprised when a physical situation seems to imply that 1 plus 1 is either 1 or 3. This finding has since been affirmed by a variety of laboratories using different methodologies. Another 1992 experiment with older toddlers, between 18 and 35 months, exploited their development of motor control by allowing them to retrieve ping-pong balls from a box, the youngest responded well for small numbers, while older subjects were able to compute sums up to five. Even some non-human animals show a limited ability to add, particularly primates. In a 1995 experiment imitating Wynn's 1992 result, rhesus macaque and cotton top tamarind monkeys performed similarly to human infants. More dramatically, after being taught the meanings of the Arabic numerals 0 through 4, one chimpanzee was able to compute the sum of two numerals without further training. More recently, Asian elephants have demonstrated an ability to perform basic arithmetic. Typically, children first master counting. 
When given a problem that requires that two items and three items be combined, young children model the situation with physical objects, often fingers, or a drawing, and then count the total. As they gain experience, they learn or discover the strategy of counting on, ask to find two plus three, children count three past two, saying three, four, five, and arriving at five. This strategy seems almost universal, children can easily pick it up from peers or teachers. Most discover it independently. With additional experience, children learn to add more quickly by exploiting the commutativity of addition by counting up from the larger number, in this case starting with 3 and counting 4, 5. Eventually children begin to recall certain addition facts either through experience or rote memorization. Once some facts are committed to memory, children begin to derive unknown facts from known ones. For example, a child asked to add 6 and 7 may know that 6 plus 6 equals 12 and then reason that 6 plus 7 is 1 more, or 13. Such derived facts can be found very quickly and most elementary school students eventually rely on a mixture of memorized and derived facts to add fluently. Commutative property, mentioned above, using the pattern A plus B equals B plus A reduces the number of addition facts from 100 to 55, one or two more, adding one or two is a basic task and it can be accomplished through counting on or, ultimately, intuition, zero, since zero is the additive identity, adding zero is trivial. Nonetheless, in the teaching of arithmetic, some students are introduced to addition as a process that always increases the addends, word problems may help rationalize the exception of zero, doubles, adding a number to itself is related to counting by two and to multiplication. Doubles facts form a backbone for many related facts, and students find them relatively easy to grasp, near doubles, sums such as 6 plus 7 equals 13 can be quickly derived from the doubles facts 6 plus 6 equals 12 by adding one more, or from 7 plus 7 equals 14 but subtracting one. 5 and 10, sums of the form 5 plus x and 10 plus x are usually memorized early and can be used for deriving other facts. For example, 6 plus 7 equals 13 can be derived from 5 plus 7 equals 12 by adding one more, making 10, an advanced strategy uses 10 as an intermediate for sums involving 8 or 9, for example, 8 plus 6 equals 8 plus 2 plus 4 equals 10 plus 4 equals 14. Different nations introduce whole numbers in arithmetic at different ages, with many countries teaching addition in school. However, throughout the world, addition is taught by the end of the first year of elementary school. Children are often presented with the addition table of pairs of numbers from 1 to 10 to memorize. Knowing this, one can perform any addition. The prerequisite to addition in the decimal system is the fluent recall or derivation of the 100 single-digit addition facts. One could memorize all the facts by rote, but pattern-based strategies are more enlightening and, for most people, more efficient. Decimal System As students grow older, they commit more facts to memory, and learn to derive other facts rapidly and fluently. Many students never commit all the facts to memory, but can still find any basic fact quickly. The standard algorithm for adding multi-digit numbers is to align the addends vertically and add the columns starting from the ones column on the right. If a column exceeds 9, the extra digit is carried into the next column. For example, in the addition 27 plus 59, 7 plus 9 equals 16, 
and the digit 1 is the carry. An alternate strategy starts adding from the most significant digit on the left, this route makes carrying a little clumsier, but it is faster at getting a rough estimate of the sum. There are many alternative methods. Carry Addition of decimal fractions Scientific notation Decimal fractions can be added by a simple modification of the above process. One aligns two decimal fractions above each other, with the decimal point in the same location. If necessary, one can add trailing zeros to a shorter decimal to make it the same length as the longer decimal. Finally, one performs the same addition process as above, except the decimal point is placed in the answer, exactly where it was placed in the sum ends. As an example, 45.1 plus 4.34 can be solved as follows. In scientific notation, numbers are written in the form, x, equals, a, a, 10, b, where, a, is the significant end, 10, b, is the exponential part. Addition requires two numbers in scientific notation to be represented using the same exponential part, so that the significant can be simply added or subtracted. For example, addition in other bases is very similar to decimal addition. As an example, one can consider addition in binary. Adding two single-digit binary numbers is relatively simple, using a form of carrying. Addition in other bases Adding two one digits produces a digit zero, while one must be added to the next column. This is similar to what happens in decimal when certain single-digit numbers are added together. If the result equals or exceeds the value of the radix, the digit to the left is increment. This is known as carrying. When the result of an addition exceeds the value of a digit, the procedure is to carry the excess amount divided by the radix to the left, adding it to the next positional value. This is correct since the next position has a weight that is higher by a factor equal to the radix. Carrying works the same way in binary. In this example, two numerals are being added together, 0.11012 and 10.111.2. The top row shows the carry bits used. Starting in the rightmost column, 1 plus 1 equals 10.2. The 1 is carried to the left, and the 0 is written at the bottom of the rightmost column. The second column from the right is added, 1 plus 0 plus 1 equals 10 2 again, the 1 is carried, and 0 is written at the bottom. The third column, 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 11 2. This time, a 1 is carried, and a 1 is written in the bottom row. Proceeding like this gives the final answer 100,102. Analog computers work directly with physical quantities, so their addition mechanisms depend on the form of the addends. A mechanical adder might represent two addends as the positions of sliding blocks, in which case they can be added with an averaging lever. If the addends are the rotation speeds of two shafts, they can be added with a differential. A hydraulic adder can add the pressures in two chambers by exploiting Newton's second law to balance forces on an assembly of pistons. The most common situation for a general-purpose analog computer is to add two voltages, this can be accomplished roughly with a resistor network, but a better design exploits an operational amplifier. Addition is also fundamental to the operation of digital computers where the efficiency of addition, in particular the carry mechanism, is an important limitation to overall performance. The abacus, also called a counting frame, 
is a calculating tool that was in use centuries before the adoption of the written modern numeral system and is still widely used by merchants, traders, and clerks in Asia, Africa, and elsewhere. It dates back to at least 2700 A Euro 2300 BC, when it was used in Sumer. Blaise Pascal invented the mechanical calculator in 1642, it was the first operational adding machine. It made use of a gravity-assisted carry mechanism. It was the only operational mechanical calculator in the 17th century and the earliest automatic, digital computer. Pascal's calculator was limited by its carry mechanism, which forced its wheels to only turn one way so it could add. To subtract, the operator had to use the Pascal's calculator's complement, which required as many steps as an addition. Giovanni Polini followed Pascal, building the second functional mechanical calculator in 1709, a calculating clock made of wood that, once set up, could multiply two numbers automatically. Adders execute integer addition in electronic digital computers, usually using binary arithmetic. The simplest architecture is the ripple carry adder which follows the standard multi-digit algorithm. One slight improvement is the carry-skip design, again following human intuition, one does not perform all the carries in computing 999 plus 1, but one bypasses the group of 9s and skips to the answer. In practice, Computational addition may be achieved via XOR and N bitwise logical operations in conjunction with bitshift operations as shown in the pseudocode below. Both XOR and N gates are straightforward to realize in digital logic allowing the realization of full adder circuits which in turn may be combined into more complex logical operations. In modern digital computers, Integer addition is typically the fastest arithmetic instruction, yet it has the largest impact on performance, since it underlies all floating point operations as well as such basic tasks as address generation during memory access and fetching instructions during branching. To increase speed, modern designs calculate digits in parallel, these schemes go by such names as carry select carry look ahead, and the ling pseudo carry. Many implementations are, in fact, hybrids of these last three designs. Unlike addition on paper, addition on a computer often changes the addends. On the ancient abacus and adding board, both addends are destroyed, leaving only the sum. The influence of the abacus on mathematical thinking was strong enough that early Latin texts often claimed that in the process of adding a number to a number, both numbers vanish. In modern times, the add instruction of a microprocessor often replaces the agend with the sum but preserves the add end. In a high-level programming language, evaluating A plus B does not change either A or B. If the goal is to replace A with the sum this must be explicitly requested, typically with the statement A equals A plus B. Some languages such as C or C++ allow this to be abbreviated as A plus equals B. On a computer, if the result of an addition is too large to store, an arithmetic overflow occurs, resulting in an incorrect answer. Unanticipated arithmetic overflow is a fairly common cause of program errors. Such overflow bugs may be hard to discover and diagnose because they may manifest themselves only for very large input data sets, which are less likely to be used in validation tests. One especially notable such error was the Y2K bug where overflow errors due to using a two-digit format for years caused significant computer problems in 2000. Computers Addition of Numbers To prove the usual properties of addition, 
one must first define addition for the context in question. Addition is first defined on the natural numbers. In set theory, addition is then extended to progressively larger sets that include the natural numbers, the integers, the rational numbers, and the real numbers. Positive fractions are added before negative numbers are even considered, this is also the historical root. There are two popular ways to define the sum of two natural numbers A and B. If one defines natural numbers to be the cardinalities of finite sets, then it is appropriate to define their sum as follows. Natural numbers Here, AAB is the union of A and B. An alternate version of this definition allows A and B to possibly overlap and then takes their disjoint union, a mechanism that allows common elements to be separated out and therefore counted twice. Integers Rational numbers Real numbers Complex numbers Generalizations Addition in abstract algebra Vector addition Matrix addition Modular arithmetic General addition Addition in set theory and category theory Related operations Arithmetic Ordering The other popular definition is recursive Again there are minor variations upon this definition in the literature. Taken literally, the above definition is an application of the recursion theorem on the partially ordered set N2. On the other hand, some sources prefer to use a restricted recursion theorem that applies only to the set of natural numbers. One then considers it to be temporarily fixed applies recursion on B to define a function A+, plus, and pastes these unary operations for all A together to form the full binary operation. This recursive formulation of addition was developed by Dedekind as early as 1854, and he would expand upon it in the following decades. He proved the associative and commutative properties, among others, through mathematical induction. The simplest conception of an integer is that it consists of an absolute value and a sign. The integer zero is a special third case, being neither positive nor negative. The corresponding definition of addition must proceed by cases. Although this definition can be useful for concrete problems, it is far too complicated to produce elegant general proofs, there are too many cases to consider. A much more convenient conception of the integers is the Groth and Dieck group construction. The essential observation is that every integer can be expressed as the difference of two natural numbers, so we may as well define an integer as the difference of two natural numbers. Addition is then defined to be compatible with subtraction. Addition of rational numbers can be computed using the least common denominator, but a conceptually simpler definition involves only integer addition and multiplication. As an example, the sum, 3, 4, plus, 1, 8, equals, 3, a, 8, plus, 4, a, 1, 4, a, 8, equals, 24, plus, 4, 32, equals, 28, 32, equals, 7, 8, plus equals 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 equals. Addition of fractions is much simpler when the denominators are the same, in this case, one can simply add the numerators while leaving the denominator the same, a, c, plus, b, c, equals, a, plus, b, c, plus equals, so, 1, 4, plus, 2, 4, 
equals 1 plus 2 4 equals 3 4 plus equals equals the commutativity and associativity of rational addition is an easy consequence of the laws of integer arithmetic. For a more rigorous and general discussion, see Field of Fractions. A common construction of the set of real numbers is the datakint completion of the set of rational numbers. A real number is defined to be a datakint cut of rationals a non-empty set of rationals that is closed downward and has no greatest element. The sum of real numbers A and B is defined element by element. This definition was first published, in a slightly modified form, by Richard Dedekind in 1872. The commutativity and associativity of real addition are immediate, defining the real number zero to be the set of negative rationals, it is easily seen to be the additive identity. Probably the trickiest part of this construction pertaining to addition is the definition of additive inverses. Unfortunately, dealing with multiplication of datakint cuts is a time-consuming case-by-case process similar to the addition of signed integers. Another approach is the metric completion of the rational numbers. A real number is essentially defined to be the limit of a Cauchy sequence of rationals, lim a n. Addition is defined term by term. This definition was first published by George Cantor, also in 1872, although his formalism was slightly different. One must prove that this operation is well defined, dealing with CO Cauchy sequences. Once that task is done, all the properties of real addition follow immediately from the properties of rational numbers. Furthermore, the other arithmetic operations, including multiplication, have straightforward, analogous definitions. Complex numbers are added by adding the real and imaginary parts of the summands. That is to say, using the visualization of complex numbers in the complex plane, the addition has the following geometric interpretation, the sum of two complex numbers A and B, interpreted as points of the complex plane is the point X obtained by building a parallelogram 3 of whose vertices are O, A and B equivalently, X is the point such that the triangles with vertices O, A, B, and X, B, A, are congruent. There are many binary operations that can be viewed as generalizations of the addition operation on the real numbers. The field of abstract algebra is centrally concerned with such generalized operations, and they also appear in set theory and category theory. In linear algebra, a vector space is an algebraic structure that allows for adding any two vectors and for scaling vectors. A familiar vector space is the set of all ordered pairs of real numbers, the ordered pair is interpreted as a vector from the origin in the Euclidean plane to the point in the plane. The sum of two vectors is obtained by adding their individual coordinates. This addition operation is central to classical mechanics, in which vectors are interpreted as forces. Matrix addition is defined for two matrices of the same dimensions. The sum of two MAN matrices A and B, denoted by A and B, is again an MAN matrix computed by adding corresponding elements. For example, in modular arithmetic, the set of integers modulo 12 has 12 elements, it inherits an addition operation from the integers that is central to musical set theory. The set of integers modulo 2 has just two elements, the addition operation it inherits is known in Boolean logic as the exclusive OR function. In geometry, the sum of two angle measures is often taken to be their sum as real numbers modulo 2 i euro. This amounts to an addition operation on the circle, 
which in turn generalizes to addition operations on many-dimensional tori. The general theory of abstract algebra allows an addition operation to be any associative and commutative operation on a set. Basic algebraic structures with such an addition operation include commutative monoids and abelian groups. A far-reaching generalization of addition of natural numbers is the addition of ordinal numbers and cardinal numbers in set theory. These give two different generalizations of addition of natural numbers to the transfinite. Unlike most addition operations, addition of ordinal numbers is not commutative. Addition of cardinal numbers, however, is a commutative operation closely related to the disjoint union operation. In category theory, disjoint union is seen as a particular case of the coproduct operation, and general coproducts are perhaps the most abstract of all the generalizations of addition. Some coproducts, such as direct sum and wedge sum, are named to evoke their connection with addition. Addition along with subtraction, multiplication, and division, is considered one of the basic operations and is used in elementary arithmetic. Subtraction can be thought of as a kind of addition a euro that is, the addition of an additive inverse. Subtraction is itself a sort of inverse to addition, in that adding x and subtracting x are inverse functions. Given a set with an addition operation, one cannot always define a corresponding subtraction operation on that set, the set of natural numbers is a simple example. On the other hand, a subtraction operation uniquely determines an addition operation, an additive inverse operation, and an additive identity, for this reason. An additive group can be described as a set that is closed under subtraction. Multiplication can be thought of as repeated addition. If a single term x appears in a sum n times, then the sum is the product of n and x. If n is not a natural number, the product may still make sense, for example, multiplication by a1 yields the additive inverse of a number. In the real and complex numbers, addition and multiplication can be interchanged by the exponential function. This identity allows multiplication to be carried out by consulting a table of logarithms and computing addition by hand, it also enables multiplication on a slide rule. The formula is still a good first-order approximation in the broad context of Lie groups where it relates multiplication of infinitesimal group elements with addition of vectors in the associated Lie algebra. There are even more generalizations of multiplication than addition. In general, multiplication operations always distribute over addition, this requirement is formalized in the definition of a ring. In some contexts, such as the integers, Distributivity over addition and the existence of a multiplicative identity is enough to uniquely determine the multiplication operation. The distributive property also provides information about addition, by expanding the product in both ways, one concludes that addition is forced to be commutative. For this reason, ring addition is commutative in general. Division is an arithmetic operation remotely related to addition. Since a slash b equals a, division is right distributive over addition, slash c equals a slash c plus b slash c. However, division is not left distributive over addition, one slash is not the same as one half plus one half. The maximum operation max is a binary operation similar to addition. In fact, if two non-negative numbers A and B are of different orders of magnitude, then their sum is approximately equal to their maximum. This approximation is extremely useful in the applications of mathematics, for example in truncating Taylor series. However, 
it presents a perpetual difficulty in numerical analysis, essentially since max is not invertible. If b is much greater than a, then a straightforward calculation of a b can accumulate an unacceptable round-off error, perhaps even returning zero. See also loss of significance. The approximation becomes exact in a kind of infinite limit, if either a o or b is an infinite cardinal number, their cardinal sum is exactly equal to the greater of the two. Accordingly, there is no subtraction operation for infinite cardinals. Maximization is commutative and associative, like addition. Furthermore, since addition preserves the ordering of real numbers, addition distributes over max in the same way that multiplication distributes over addition. For these reasons, in tropical geometry one replaces multiplication with addition and addition with maximization. In this context, addition is called tropical multiplication, maximization is called tropical addition, and the tropical additive identity is negative infinity. Some authors prefer to replace addition with minimization, then the additive identity is positive infinity. Tying these observations together, tropical addition is approximately related to regular addition through the logarithm, which becomes more accurate as the base of the logarithm increases. The approximation can be made exact by extracting a constant h, named by analogy with Planck's constant from quantum mechanics, and taking the classical limit as h tends to zero. In this sense, the maximum operation is a dequantized version of addition. Incrementation, also known as the successor operation, is the addition of one to a number. Summation describes the addition of arbitrarily many numbers, usually more than just two. It includes the idea of the sum of a single number, which is itself, and the empty sum, which is zero. An infinite summation is a delicate procedure known as a series. Counting a finite set is equivalent to summing one over the set. Integration is a kind of summation over a continuum, or more precisely and generally, over a differentiable manifold. Integration over a zero-dimensional manifold reduces to summation. Linear combinations combine multiplication and summation, they are sums in which each term has a multiplier, usually a real or complex number. Linear combinations are especially useful in contexts where straightforward addition would violate some normalization rule, such as mixing of strategies in game theory or superposition of states in quantum mechanics. Convolution is used to add two independent random variables defined by distribution functions. Its usual definition combines integration, subtraction, and multiplication. In general, convolution is useful as a kind of domain-side addition, by contrast, vector addition is a kind of range-side addition. History Elementary Mathematics Education Cognitive Science Mathematical Exposition Advanced Mathematics Mathematical research Computing Addition Subtraction Multiplication Other ways to add Notes Footnotes Let n be the cardinality of a set S. Take two disjoint sets A and B, with n equals A and n equals B. Then A and B is defined as, N, A, A, B. Let N plus B the successor of N, that is the number following N in the natural numbers, so 0 plus equals 1, 1 plus equals 2. Define A plus 0 equals A. 
Define the general sum recursively by a plus equals plus. Hence 1 plus 1 equals 1 plus 0 plus equals plus equals 1 plus equals 2. For an integer n, let n be its absolute value. Let a and b be integers. If either a o or b is 0, treat it as an identity. If a and b are both positive, define a plus b equals a plus b. If a and b are both negative, define a plus b equals a. If a and b have different signs, define a and b to be the difference between a and b, with the sign of the term whose absolute value is larger. As an example, a6 plus 4 equals a2, because a6 and 4 have different signs, their absolute values are subtracted, and since the absolute value of the negative term is larger, the answer is negative. Division Given two integers a, a, b and c, a, d, where a, b, c, and d are natural numbers, define plus equals a. Define, a, b, plus, c, d, equals, a, d, plus, b, c, b, d, plus equals dot. Define, a, plus, b, equals, q, plus, r, a pound, q, a, a, r, a, b, dot. Define, lim, n, a, n, plus, lim, n, b, n, equals, lim, n, a, n, plus, b, n, a plus backslash lim b equals backslash lim. Ferrara Superscript 3S, Josa Copyright. Labyrinth of Thought. A History of Set Theory and Its Role in Modern Mathematics Birka User ISBN 0-8176-5749-5 Karpinski, Lewis The History of Arithmetic Rand McNally LCCQA21.K3 Schwartzman, Stephen the Words of Mathematics, an Etymological Dictionary of Mathematical Terms Used in English. Ma. ISBN 0-88385-511-9, Williams, Michael. A History of Computing Technology. Prentice Hall. ISBN 0-13-389917-9. Sparks, F. Rees C. A Survey of Basic Mathematics. McGraw-Hill. ISBN 0-07-059902-5. Begla, Edward. The Mathematics of the Elementary School. McGraw-Hill. ISBN 0-07-004325-6, California State Board of Education Mathematics Content Standards Adopted December 1997, Accessed December 2005, Divine, D. Olson, J. Olson, M. Elementary Mathematics for Teachers. Wiley. ISBN 0-471-85947-8, National Research Council. Adding it up, helping children learn mathematics. National Academy Press. ISBN 0-309-06995-5, Van de Waal, John. Elementary and Middle School Mathematics. Teaching Developmentally Pearson ISBN 0-205-38689-X Fosnot, Catherine T. Dolk, Martin Young Mathematicians at Work, 
constructing number sense, addition, and subtraction. Heinemann ISBN 0-325-00353X, Wynne, Karen Numerical Competence in Infants The Development of Mathematical Skills Taylor and Francis P3 ISBN 0-86377-816-X Bogomolny, Alexander Edition. Interactive Mathematics Miscellany and Puzzles. Archived from the original on April 26, 2006. Retrieved February 3, 2006. Dunham, William. The Mathematical Universe. Wiley. ISBN 0 471 53656 3. Johnson, Paul. From Sticks and Stones, Personal Adventures in Mathematics. Science Research Associates. ISBN 0-574-19115-1, Linderholm, Carl. Mathematics Made Difficult. Wolf. ISBN 0-7234-0415-1, Smith, Frank. The Glass Wall, Why Mathematics Can Seem Difficult. Teachers College Press. ISBN 0-8077-4242-2, Smith, Carl. The Nature of Modern Mathematics. Wadsworth. ISBN 0-8185-0352-1 Bergman, George An Invitation to General Algebra and Universal Constructions General Printing ISBN 0-9655211-4-1 Burrell, Claude Foundations of Real Numbers McGraw-Hill LCCQA248.B95, Dummett, D. Foot, R. Abstract Algebra. Wiley. ISBN 0 471 36857 1, Herbert. Elements of Set Theory. Academic Press. ISBN 0-12-238440-7, Lee, John. Introduction to Smooth Manifolds. Springer. ISBN 0-387-95448-1, Martin, John. Introduction to Languages and the Theory of Computation. McGraw-Hill. ISBN 0-07-232200-4, Rudin, Walter. Principles of Mathematical Analysis. McGraw-Hill. ISBN 0-07-054235-X, Stewart, James. Calculus, Early Transcendentals. Brooks-Cole. ISBN 0-534-36298-2 Aukian, Marianne, Bapat, Ravindra, Gobert, Stefan Min plus methods in eigenvalue perturbation theory and generalized litsky vishikljasternik theorem INRIA reports AR14 Math.sp slash 0402090, Baez, J. Dolan, J. Mathematics Unlimited Euro 2001 and Beyond. From Finite Sets to Feynman Diagrams. P29. AR14, Math.qa slash 0004133. ISBN 3-540-66913-2, Litvinov, Grigory, 
Maslov, Viktor, Sobolevsky, Andrei. Idem potent mathematics and interval analysis. Reliable computing, Kluwer, Lodi, Jean Lewis. Arithmetry. Journal of Algebra. 258, 275. AR 14, Math slash 0112034. DOI 10.1016 slash s0021-8693005101 0 McHacken, Grigory Sans Sola Copyright, Marta, ed. Proceedings of the International Congress of Mathematicians, Madrid, Spain, August 2 to a Euro 30, 2006. Volume 2 Invited Lectures Tropical Geometry and Its Applications ZA 1 4th Rich, European Mathematical Society Pages 827A Euro 852AR14, math.ag slash 0601041 ISBN 978-3-03719-021 ZBL 1103.14034, Vero, Oleg. Cascoberta, Carls, Myra Superscript 3 Roig, Rosa Maria, Verdera, Joan, Zamba Superscript 3 De Camps, Sebastia, eds. European Congress of Mathematics, Barcelona, July 10A Euro 14. 2000, Volume I De Quantization of Real Algebraic Geometry on Logarithmic Paper. Progress in Mathematics. 201. Basel, Birka User. Pages 135A Euro 146AR14, Math slash 0005163. ISBN 3-7643-6417-3 ZBL 1024.14026 Flynn, M. Oberman, S. Advanced Computer Arithmetic Design Wiley ISBN 0-471-41209-0 Horowitz, P. Hill, W. The Art of Electronics. Cambridge UP. ISBN 0 521 37095 7. Jackson, Albert. Analog Computation. McGraw Hill. LCCQA 76.4J3, Truett, T. Rogers, A. Basics of Analog Computers. John F. Ryder. LCCQA 76.4 T7, Marguin, Jean. Histoire des instruments et machines et calculer, trois sia clés de ma copyright canique pens anti 1642-1942. Herman. ISBN 978-2-7056-6166-3, Tatan, Rena Copyright. L.E. Calcul ma copyright canique. K.S.A.S.J.E. N.A. Degree 367. Presses Universitaires de France. Pages 20 a Euro 28.